Okay guys, so today we are going to be making the walls to a castle. It's basically the first part of the castle project that we are going to be making. So as you can see, there's a couple of different shapes going to be involved in this. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on File and New so we can start fresh. Um, once you open up SketchUp, you have a person just there mainly for scale. Uh, if you wanted to, for whatever reason, measure the height of the scale, you can get a good idea of 5 foot 9, the height of the person. The idea behind this is to just help you um, have a sense of scale when you are drawing other shapes or if you wanted to draw a house on SketchUp, you have a fair idea of what the requirements of the heights would be, for example, the entryway into the house. I'm going to go ahead and click on the eraser tool and remove the person as I don't need it in my image right now. Again, like previously, previously said, this point here where the red, green, and blue axes intersect is our origin. Okay, so the x, y, z axis that is 0, 0, 0. We're going to be starting our work from the origin today. To draw the basic uh, base of the castle, what I'm going to do is select the rectangle tool. And I'm going to click once with my mouse on the origin, and I'm going to drag away with my finger away from the left click on the mouse. I've only clicked once and I released straight away. Okay. Uh, if you look at the bottom right of my screen, down here, you'll see dimensions, okay? I'm going to type in the dimensions exactly how I would like my rectangle to appear on the page. What I would like is 40 feet wide, comma, 70 feet long. Press enter. And there you have a fine big flat base. I'm going to move it. Sorry. I want to pan, I don't want to move it. So I'm going to undo move. I'm going to choose my pan tool and zoom out. Gives us an idea of what we created. Okay, and if you can recall, there were uh, circles also included in our drawing. So I'm going to go ahead, click on the circle tool. Okay, and I'm going to start with this nearest point here. The center of my circle is going to be on the end point of one of the corners of the, of the castle base. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to start. Obviously I clicked once and let go. And you can set the circle to whatever height you want. And in this scenario I would like it to be 5 feet. So 5 apostrophe and press enter. And there we have it. And you're going to do that in all four corners. So click 5, apostrophe, enter. And click again, 5, apostrophe, enter. Use my pan tool to move it around to make it easier to work with. 5, apostrophe, enter. Okay. And if we use the orbit tool now, you can see that on each of the four corners of our rectangular base we successfully drew in the circles. You'll also probably notice that it could do with some of these lines being erased to make it look a little more uniform as a base. So I'm going to click on the eraser tool and click any unwanted lines away. This is something you should do always with your SketchUp drawings. Keep them clean as we would say. Any sort of lines that are not necessary just erase with the eraser okay and now we can see that we have a nice neat solid base okay and I'm using the orbit tool to look around at that next what we want to do is create um, a wall in the castle okay and like when you're building any wall in real life you need to start at the base okay so what we need to do is create a second 
a second shape exactly the same as this and the tool that's very useful for this is a tool called the offset okay it offsets selected edges now this is all one surface so we want to offset from that surface as you can see the polka dots are indicating that I'm on this surface if I click once and pull it out you'll see that uh, it's creating a shape a certain distance away from my original okay I only want it to be 18 inches away the wall is going to be 18 inches thick so I type in 18 and hold down shift and apostrophe to create the inch notifier over here on the bottom right of our screen okay so I type in 18 inches and I press enter and now we have the blocks of the castle wall base right here what I'm going to go ahead and do right away is create a full height wall the wall is going to be 25 feet tall and as you guys probably know already you're going to use the push pull tool for this click on push pull and let the polka dots indicate which surface you're about to edit click once and pull it up to the sky we're going to type in into the bottom right corner of our screen 2 5 comma and enter and we can zoom out choose our orbit tool and this is part one of the castle. You can look underneath to see how it looks from below. And it's just a nice little project. Later on we're going to be adding in some of the finishing touches, but for right now, this is part one of our castle. You can use the pan tool again. Remember it's look at some of the different views you would like. If you would like to check your measurements like I'll be doing when I want to grade your guys work I'll click on a wall and there it is it tells me it's 25 feet tall that's excellent okay and obviously the same wall here will be 25 feet because we pushed or pulled it up at the same time okay so again that's your castle part one save it in your classroom folder it's going to be called castle part one underscore your last name 